major tips for Sam now that we are on our way back to switch cars and hop into the Mazda 3 and you are going to help Sam get on Edza for the first time. Okay. I'm right. very happy to have both of you in a car together because I'm Sam, so happy. you have no idea. James Deacon is synonymous with anything automotive in the Philippines. I've known him for some time now, maybe about 10 years, but like very yeah, we, were, we were like very teens, casual. Right? We were like what, 13, 14 when we met. That was like 10 years ago for sure, yeah. Mm. Seems like a longer time, but. I actually really know James Deacon because I'm a super fan. I mean, I don't drive. Now, because we know you're focused on safe driving, we can talk in the car, right? Yes, we can we because can. you're buckled up and I'm, I'm so proud. <laughs> I didn't even have to tell her. Yeah, of course, I drive in the US. I drive in North America, so this is a must. I'm actually really guilty of that, not buckling up in the back there seat. Why is it that Filipinos hindi natin habit yung magbuckle up no, sa back seat, no? Not at all. In fact, even the front seat took a long time. Yeah, yeah. actually, actually. Yeah, I'm glad you right. asked because a lot of people think, hey, anong pakilam mo? This is my life, my whatever. I, yeah. I've heard that argument where they say, Look, I know a guy who literally says, I don't wear a seatbelt because he drives normally at 200 plus an hour. And he says that's the reason he doesn't wear a seatbelt because he would rather not be maimed, rather die than be maimed, right? That's that's his logic. But what people don't understand is the seatbelt is not just for you. That's why we buckle up front, back, anywhere. Especially kids. If you're holding a kid... Mm, car seat is not also here. It, there's a law car now. Car seat. And the IRR has just come out. So it will be, they will start penalizing very soon. Okay. But more than a law, I mean, I just wish that we would have, we would understand the value of car seats without it having to be a law. Mm. So we all, it's something we'll never find out till it's too late. And it's the simplest device ever created for motor vehicle safety. Yeah. And to date, it's still the most effective. Can you imagine with all the technology we've got, this still is rated as the most effective pound-for-pound -pound safety device we have in the car. More than an airbag? Even more than mm. the airbag. If, you, if you're going to give a person a choice, seatbelt or airbag, go seatbelt 100% any time of the day. Yeah, because even the airbag can, can injure you also. Mm. Do you know why it's called an SRS? That's it? Supplementary Restraint System, meaning it's designed to be used solely as a supplement for a seatbelt. It's not some glamorous pillow. A lot of people think it's violent. It hurts like hell. It'll leave you with burns and sometimes marks in your face because it's a thick canvas. It's an explosion and it's only there to prevent this extra movement. So when the seat belt's here, it will just keep you firm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the idea mm -hmm. of a seat belt, even if there's a, it locks, you see there's a little bit of yeah. give there. That's where you can dislocate your shoulder, because even mm. just that small give. I have another question for you and mm. also a question for everyone actually. Okay. And if you guys want to chime into the conversation, just comment below and also subscribe to this channel because we're getting juicier and juicier. I mean, come on guys, we have James Deacon. So anyway, my question is, what are the other bad habits of Filipino drivers that need to be changed? The ones that I particularly hate, which are really common, walang bigayan and the un they don't understand the zipper effect the zipper effect when you're merging mm -hmm. one at a time yeah, yeah exactly because we understand that if we all give way we all get ahead further oh, we, we, we all move faster but the me first attitude well it's it's law of the jungle so it's the the fittest and the biggest that survive usually the buses and the jeeps mm. who don't really care about scratching their car etc so that's one hazard lights in the rain it drives me insane. <laughs> it really does because it comes with a sense of people think they're right. They actually believe that they are right. Like when can you actually use the hazard for? Okay, well, yeah. the hazard light here in the Philippines is used as like an invisible force shield that basically makes you immune from any laws. That's what people think. It's not designed for that. It's designed to show that you are a hazard on the road. You've broken down. You're in trouble. Mm -hmm. If you use it because you're counterflowing, if you use it because it's raining, you devalue it. Now, <laughs> somebody breaks down in the middle of the road, all right? And it's now a hazard in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. How do you know who's who? We've all got our hazard lights on now. Yeah. It's nothing to distinguish. Then there's also, are you going left? Are you going right? I don't know. You're changing lanes, but both your lights are flashing. So it creates chaos. Hazards have a clear use there. It is when you are a hazard. So it's not how you feel about it. A lot of people say, but I feel safer when I put it on so that people can see me in the rain. The law, it's not about how you feel. It's about what is actual, what's in the law, right? The when law you are a hazard. You 
yes. on the road. So just follow you that. Warn people that you're that you're exactly. there. Be careful. Avoid me. And that's why we're doing this, ladies and gentlemen. We need to unlearn these bad habits. Yes. You yeah. Know, if you want to break the rules, not you should. But if you want, first know <laughs> them. It amplifies it. When when somebody puts a hazard lights on the rain because and they think they're right. Oh my God, it's a difficult person to deal with. It's also like this idiot over here. <laughs> See, now they, they you are, don't do that, Sam, because <clears throat> that is like cutting someone off and trying to get ahead. See, now he is the mechanical <laughs> yeah. expression of the hazard light. He thinks because he's in an armored vehicle, he's immune. Mm. And once again, that's another one where people think that they actually have special privileges on the road. They yeah. do not. They do not. The Wang Wangs do not, are not allowed. They do not have special privileges. Only the president, the vice president, the chief of the armed forces, and the senate president are legally allowed to use the Wang Wangs. Those are only four people in the country. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm sure you've seen more than four people in this country using Wang Wangs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, all the time. James, you really need to help me prepare Sam for highway driving. She's already done some practice with A1. We're gonna take Sam out on EDSA for the first time in a lovely Mazda 3. Right now we're in the CX-9 and they said this car was supposed to be for guys like in your <laughs> age bracket so how mm -hmm. do you feel you're, you're getting quality mm. and power and all that but for a fraction of the cost so they do a really good job of this and yeah. they are the, they're the exact opposite of what we were talking about because in Japan the whole culture mm. especially on the road is mindfulness of others that's their whole yes. mantra. everything's designed around the mindfulness of others this is why they function like clockwork fascinating to watch they're so disciplined they are, the and Japanese. we can learn well, so much. Well, actually, I don't much. know that, are they? They are, are. they are. They seem disciplined. They are, they the are Japanese? Very. Yeah. Oh my God, incredibly disciplined. Yeah. I lost my phone there just last, uh, two weeks ago. So I went to the reception and I reported it and all that. And I came back half an hour later, and I just said, look, on the off chance, has anyone returned it? There you go. Somebody returned it. That's such a good feeling. You thought you lost something and then it shows up. Those are culture goals. Great. Culture Hashtag goals. Time. Hashtag culture yeah. goals. We should start to bring a little bit of Japan. What are your it. major tips for Sam now that we are on our way back to switch cars and hop into the Mazda 3 and you are going to help Sam get on Edza for the first time? Okay. I'm actually really nervous, guys. So, you know, we're like, for the height of like morning rush hour, it's like 9.30 a.m. right now. I'm really honestly nervous because when I tried to overtake a car with Roe v last time that was quite exhilarating and scary so I'm really curious to know what tips you have for me she that. felt the rush she was well, like Woo! the first thing that I tell people always is you need to get comfortable in the car because that's everything starts from there so your seat adjustment is very important you have to have a bend in your arm okay so you have to be close enough to the wheel where the, the rule of thumb is that when you stretch your arm like that your wrist goes over the top of the oh see so A1 actually taught me that Good. when we were the wheel. Okay. Say that ten times. Wrist, wrist is, resting is resting on the wheel. wheel. Wrist, wrist is resting on the wheel. I'm wrist so is resting bad. on. Because we this is normally so. how they they do it in the hood. And what happens there? Like just just look at the the arms not, extended yeah. like this. If you react, I can't react can't anywhere get, near as fast as I can yeah, do it like this. It's the same way when you hold something heavy. If you put your arm out, it hurts like hell because you're you, you're weak. You lose the strength. If you hold it here, you've got all the strength. So I have to also have a bend in my knee when the brakes are fully depressed. Hit the brakes as hard as you can in when you stop and you should still have a little bend so you have strength. That's first, seat belts, mirrors. Your mirrors, you have got, the mirrors are not, not a lot of people pay a lot of attention to the mirrors. <laughs> they are your friend, you yeah. need to refer to them like every couple seconds or so. You have got to have spatial awareness that you're just completely <laughs> aware of what you're Your doing in the car. And the reason I'm taking you from this point is because sometimes people skip this step. And it's vital because you should not just react to situations, you should respond to them. The difference between reacting and responding is responding has a bit of more thought process in it. Reacting is literally instinct. So the spatial awareness, if, if you're constantly always just doing a scan, it's like a 360 scan with your two mirrors mm -hmm. here and your rear view over there and you just always make it a habit, you're just always relatively aware of what's around you. So when you need to do any emergency braking, you're not thinking, oh my God, now do I, will I check? Is there somebody behind me? Is there somebody beside me? You already subconsciously know that because you're doing a scan all the time. Actually, that's why this camera was really useful because it has the 360 degree like... It is, but it's low speed, if you know this. Yeah, it, yeah, that yeah. will cut out after a certain speed and that's incredibly good for parking. Okay. It it's is. great for seeing it in traffic. If you wanna, it's obviously designed also mm -hmm. for four-wheel driving, 
but so you have rocks and stuff mm -hmm. like that. That's great, but when you're moving faster, yeah. that will just go out. You need to have that same yeah. thing, but in your head. Sam, my only advice is just breathe, relax, and have some fun. Just a little bit of fun. She can have fun. You can have a little bit of fun. You can, you can have focused fun. So now Sam is going to hop into the Mazda 3 and then she's gonna go on Edsa for the very first time in her entire life with James Deegan. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and comment below whatever, react to whatever it is that we're doing here. We want to hear from you. Yeah, and, and don't forget to hit the bell button, the notification button to obviously get notified when we upload the next video, which is basically gonna be me freaking out on Edsa because <laughs> I'm really nervous right now. I Don't worry, she has a permit. Nervous. We're all gonna be nervous. <laughs> now I'm getting nervous. It's, it's, it's gonna be one of those sweaty pits episodes. <laughs> <laughs> the skill, yeah. The skill. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Writing in Cars with Girls, and me, Bianca underscore King. And don't forget to follow me too, Sambi Rodriguez. And of course, our special guest, the one and only, James Deacon as well. Woo. And yeah, then. this is where the courage kicks in. Yeah, so I, I would go now. Courage! Now. Courage! And stay on this lane.